Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to perform Ubuntu Linux patching manually. In this video, I am going to show you step by step procedure for the Ubuntu Linux patching. We are going to cover the Ubuntu OS patching using following three methods. First, perform the pre-checks. Before going to start the Ubuntu patching, we need to do some basic pre-checks that will help to validate the system post patching and reboot. So second step is perform the OS patching then third one is the perform post checks. Let me start the technical discussion. The first step is perform pre-checks. In this section we are going to perform following the list of action. First we are going to collect the OS pre artifact then get the latest available package information from the repository and list out the what are the packages we are going to upgrade during the patching. Also exclude or hold the software package from the patching if required. We are going to perform OS patching and the Ubuntu 20.0.4 LTS edition and before going to start the OS patching we are going to collect some basic free artifact. So for that I created a small script which I am going to show you now. Here I have the script pre artifact and this script I am going to give in the video description link. If you want you can download it for your reference. This is a simple script which will help to collect the system pre-artifact before patching and reboot. So let me execute the script. I will show you what is the output we are going to get. You see here, so it is just printing the basic uh, system configuration like IP address, what are the mount points are currently mounted and what is the kernel version and what are the routing table and the basic information like currently what are the services are running. So the basic information will be captured from the, the following script. So I can show you the content of the script. You can see here I just made a simple script which will help to collect the basic pre-artifact before the patching. So using this pre-artifact script I am going to store this current system configuration output into the text file. So I am executing this command. You can see here I am executing the script and redirect, redirecting that output into the text file. So this is done. To get the latest software available information, we can execute sudo apt update. So this command will get the latest package information from the configured repository or sources. So we can see here from this output, there are 28 packages are ready for upgrade. So if we want to know the package details, we can execute this command apt list upgradable. So I am executing the same command and let's see the output. We reduce output. Yeah, we can see these are the following 28 packages currently available for the upgrade. In the IT industry, if you are going to perform the Ubuntu OS patching, basically database team or application team, they will ask us to exclude some packages during the patching. Why? Because they don't want to get the software upgrade like application upgrade or database upgrade during the patching because of this will because the patching will be monthly activity. So the application and database they don't want to get impact during the patching activity. Suppose if you want to exclude or hold the package from the patching, we can use apt hyphen mark show hold. Currently there, there is no package uh, kept for hold. Suppose if you want to hold any package during the patching, we can use apt hyphen mark hold then package name for example any package package name. Suppose if you want to unhold the package after the patching, you can execute the same command apt and mark unhold package. So this is a command if you want to exclude the software from the package. Currently I don't have any software which need to be excluded from the patching. So I am not using this command at this moment. Next step number two. In this step, we are going to perform OS patching. Post to OS patching, we are going to validate the init or the image for the newly installed kernel. Why? Because as per my past experience, I have seen the many times the issue due to the init, init or the image file. Why? Because during the patching, new kernel will be get installed. So every kernel, there should be a file under slash boot directory. If this file is not present for the latest installed kernel, our OS will not boot up. For that, I have added the extra steps before reboot. Always validate the init or image file for the newly installed or currently installed latest kernel. 
once this step is well completed so we need to check what are the packages are installed for today date for that we can get the apt logs from the where log folder now we are going to perform the actual os patching for that we can use sudo apt upgrade we are already seen there are 28 packages available now i am going to perform the os patching we can see the patching has been started there are 28 packages these are the packages going to get upgrade which will takes few minutes it's dependent on your internet speed let's wait for the patching completion you can see here currently slash boot init our image generating for the newly installed kernel before reboot always validate there should be a latest init or image for the latest installed kernel if this file is not there then your system won't boot so always make sure this file should be always created yeah we can see the patching has been successfully completed as i told previously before reboot always validate the slash boot init or the image for the currently installed kernel i have the script which i am going to show you now this is the script my script init or the image checks get this script if i execute this script so this is the currently latest installed kernel let me execute so my latest installed kernel is 5.13.0.28 and currently my system also booted with this so during this patching there was no kernel update so anyway i have validated for the currently installed kernel i have the init or image under the boot directory all the install timestamps logs are kept under this location and we can get it for example if i want to check the top 10 package timestamp details we can get it using this command and if you want to get the whole the entire system package install timestamp details you can execute this command next step number 3 and this is our final steps now we are going to perform the reboot and once the system came up we are going to validate some basic service configurations then start the app and db subsystem if required let me reboot the system yeah now our ubuntu system has been booted let me validate the latest kernel yes our os patching has been successfully completed and if you want to perform the basic health check like if you have any application then you can ask application team to start if you have the database always start the database first before the application and if you want to do the post validation like how many file system currently mounted you can get it using this command so we already created the configuration output and using this we can compare the system Uh, system configuration if anything modified always compare with this and this will help to validate the system basic configuration i hope you like this video thanks thanks for watching share your feedback on comment section